The boat was from a previous piece called Conquering Clouds and I made it in 2015. Uh, and the, it's a boat but it's also a pinhole camera um, and the sail acts as a, a blackout material so you can kind of develop the photographs in the boat. Um, and I decided to bring it back for this piece because boats were originally used as baskets for a wooden, well, uh, for hot air balloons. So in this case, I kind of used it for my wooden hot air balloon. <laughs> that was kind of uh, my first attempt at making the, the balloon itself on that, on that scale. I kind of made a little maquette in, in Norfolk um, and I was doing a residency, but um, something for a very kind of small scale. <laughs> so yeah. It was a bit of kind of working out whilst making. <laughs> yeah, it's quite challenging because I've, I've never actually um, bent wood before, so it's a process which is called steam bending. So I had to make the, a wooden box almost like a little, I guess, a, a sauna that's actually in the shack now. And then place strips of pine and ash within the box and then uh, leave them in there for a couple of hours for the the steam to soak into the wood and then pull them out and bend them um, really quickly before they kind of set because they set once they go sort of a dry dry again basically and that kind of that process of making the wooden hot air balloon took about I think three weeks a month and I had someone else Stuart Porter helping me at the time so I had an assistant because it's quite hard to do by yourself due to the kind of the, the scale of it and the size of a sort of five foot by six foot balloon <laughs> that's made out of wood. <laughs>